I'm going to be telling you some school stories and stuff while drinking tea for the second time. I'm going to tell you the story about the pizza and the librarian. I have no uh, titles for these stories. I was in like the common room in grade 8 at my middle school, which only had grade 8s. Um, and then the librarian was lecturing a bunch of guys about not throwing food into the garbage, like actually going <laughs> to the garbage and putting the garbage away. And I, I heard no her say that, but I had like a brain fart and <laughs> threw my pizza crust into the garbage. Why did you throw your pizza crust in the garbage? Pizza crust is the best part. It was kind of burnt. But <laughs> the thing is, she was lecturing about not doing that and she was right beside the garbage can and I missed the garbage can and hit her oh, no. in the leg. But the thing that's really funny is that she went picked up the pizza crust, threw it away, and just kept lecturing the guys. <laughs> and then I just kind of went away and all the guys were like... <laughs> I'm going to tell you the toast story after I take another sip. <laughs> okay, so... Better. Yeah. So in grade 8, still, grade 8 was a lot of shenanigans. You know what happens when you only put one grade in a school. <laughs> um, so... For some reason, I was sitting in my math class, and we were smelling toast, and then my- You're all having seizures. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, my friends and I were like, we want toast in class. So we made up this really unofficial looking, like, petition, and we call it the toast petition, as one does. <laughs> and we got, like, so many people, so many people to sign it. We got most of the teachers to sign it, I'm pretty sure. Except for one that's like, I don't know what this entails. What if you're actually trying to get me fired? We're going to toast, insert teacher's name here. And we're like, but we just want toast. And he's like, nope. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And we sort of actually got the toast day. We had like a pajama Oops. toast day. And then we That's watched Timothy table. Goes to School <laughs> in grade eight. That's amazing. In our pajamas while eating toast. That's amazing. But like, it wasn't just like on a TV with like one class. It was <clears throat> school-wide. We were sitting in the commons with this huge screen. That's pretty awesome. Coming down, we're just watching like my favorite episode of Timothy Goes to School, which is the one where they get ice cream. Oh my. It kind of reminds me when I was in school, except we only did that with things like We Day. And then there was social studies where we just sat and watched Anchorman for two classes because we were stuck in our class for three hours because stupid exam week didn't happen. <laughs> because I didn't get exams, I got an A in calculus, so I'm fine with that. Yay! A's in calculus. Yay! Oh, Christmas story. So in like grade three, they made us write um, Christmas stories, as they often do in mm -hmm. elementary school. But what they didn't tell us was that they were submitting it to the newspaper for a contest. Uh -huh. So like me being the little sassy grade three I was, I wrote a story about Rudolph and he thought his nose was on fire or something because it was red. So he put his face in a bowl of mashed potatoes to cool it down. And I don't remember what the ending to that story was, but all I remember is Rudolph and mashed potatoes. And I got second place for that. Actually, I may have gotten first. It was either first or second. That's I got, awesome. I got more than this one kid who I had random rivalry with. Mm -hmm. I got 20 bucks from it, which is really good for a third grader. But I was like, when was it? What? Because everyone was like, Amanda, great story in the newspaper. And I'm like, what story in the newspaper? And they're like, here, Amanda, here's 20 bucks. You won the thing. And I was like, what? What? Yeah. Except for in a little high-pitched um, grade three voice. <laughs> I don't know whether I should be happy or mad because of that story. It's like, they didn't tell me, but I also won money. That reminds me of the first time I remember being in the newspaper. I was getting my arm face painted because I didn't like face paint on my face. <laughs> so a picture of, him pa of someone painting my arm instead of my face. Got one left. So, mole day story. Yesterday was mole day, by the way. Uh, this won't be uploaded today. I was in grade 11 in a class, a chemistry class specifically, of all grade 12s. Except for one other girl that was in grade 11 with me, and then another girl in grade 11 that was taking spare in the back, just in the corner there. And then, so, I like chemistry. everyone brought food for mole day, and then all of a sudden the grade 12s are called for an assembly, so they had to leave. <laughs> That's and funny. then my friend was away that day as well, so it was me, the girl taking spare, and my teacher, and all this food and whack-a-mole. 
So that's awesome. Yeah, we eat a lot of their. That's food. freaking awesome. We left a lot for them as well, but most of the chocolate covered strawberries. Uh, they're yeah, they're just gone. Whack them all. It took us okay. So there's like two or three different game modes on the whack a mole board apparently. Really? And we took too long trying to figure out the second one. I'm going to ask you some questions. Questions? What kind of questions? There's four questions that I've asked a lot of people on this channel. Um, I'm going to see if I can remember them all. First of all, what's the correct ratio of fries to ketchup? None. I hate ketchup. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you could only listen to one song for the rest of your life, what would it be? Real talk. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't. I, I, I latch onto music and then I start hating it because I listen to it too much. So that wouldn't work for me. <laughs> Would you rather be turned into a gingerbread man or be eaten by a live gingerbread man? Turned into a gingerbread man. Yeah. I want to be gingy. Gingy's pretty cool. What's your favorite type <laughs> of potato chip? That's a really good question. Um, Miss Vicky, salt and vinegar. Did I actually introduce you properly other than no. here is Holly? Well, here's Holly. She was in my CIT program at Qantas, which yes, I didn't actually CIT. vlog at, but, you know. Jazz hands. <laughs> that wasn't jazz. <laughs> Nothing says I came here to win quite like jazz hands. <laughs> I don't think I've actually introduced people very well in any videos. They're just, I'm just kind of like, here is, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, I'm a nerd. And I'm okay with people knowing that. I like being a nerd. I'm wearing a Spider-Man shirt. I mean, I'm kind of a nerd. <laughs> I like Firefly. I tumble way too much. I got her into Doctor Who. Yes, you did, and Tumblr. Success! Worst things ever. Go to her Tumblr. Do to do, do. Link in the description. Should I do that? Link in the description. Yay, Tumblr. One of my friends just comes to my dorms to watch Merlin. That's oh, fun. Hey, Nicola. Chai tea. Really, 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 really vanilla. Not just because it's vanilla chai, but it's just normal vanilla, just regular tea. Everybody drinks chai. At least everyone I know likes chai. I don't know anyone who doesn't like chai either. The pressure. Although Amanda probably won't like it. There are very few teas I put cream and sugar in all the time. This is one. Remember Club Penguin? I love Penguin. how I put perfectly enough sugar in here just to make it. Yes, I do. I really had no point to that. <laughs> I just saw your owl mug for some reason connected that with Club Penguin and I don't know why. <laughs> I decided to experiment with swearing on Club Penguin like in my igloo and then making my igloo public and seeing That's funny! <laughs> so I went closing That's off my great. igloo and then opening it up just to see when I would get like warnings and stuff. And eventually my account was deactivated so I had to have like my mom email Club Penguin and be like, someone hacked her account! Her friend was on her account and she didn't swear. So, oops. Yay! Goodbye!